what is proof by induction and how we do it not hard very easy three steps that's it okay we'll see one two three the step one is testing the waters check with the initial condition so prove for n is equal to one if your starting point is one if your starting point is two then n equal to two initial condition testing we prove this but in the second step no proving it is assume for n equal to k no proving here we're going to say well it works for n equal to k we are not doubting this but in step three we again prove for n equal to k plus one and the most important line of this entire thing is using using step two no other way if you can use what is proved assumed in step two and prove what is there in step three you say that i can prove it for every k and k plus one is an example so if i prove if i assume for 55 i can prove it for 56 if I, if I can assume for 50, I don't know, 67, I can prove it for 68. So every two consecutive numbers are proved. That means it is proved for all integers. But now that's very important. Never, you cannot, right? Use method of induction for a real number. You can use it only when you know that N is a, a positive integer. Okay. So if you have positive integer, think of method of induction. That's an efficient way to prove some mathematical concepts. And if you want to see a problem, it's there on my YouTube channel. Subscribe and find the link is in the details.